Love the new single Black Summer by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Absolutely adore this song. This is the stuff I was hoping for, at least me personally. It has that Jimi Hendrix vibe written all over it. Let's start with the intro. We have this D sharp minor or E flat minor, whatever you prefer. But the thing is, it's quite an awkward key and he does that quite often. John Frusciante, when he's writing a song with the other Chili Peppers, he rarely uses like just regular old E. It's always these bar chords. He doesn't really like open strings <laughs> for that matter. Anyway, so we got the, let's say D sharp minor for this video. He uses his fingers, not the guitar pick. It's not like, it doesn't work. So you can either just use the fingers or what I like to do, which is using the fingers while also having the guitar pick ready whenever I need to use it later on in the song, for example. Now, the first thing we need to be able to do is to have that rhythm very gently. First, see if you can do this. It's a basic thing that he's playing. And on top of that, he plays these very Hendrix-like embellishments. Isn't that beautiful? Make sure the first one is a bit louder and the other ones are a bit softer. That's when it becomes very beautiful. Then you need to combine those two, the rhythm and the embellishments, together. Let's continue on with the verse. The rhythm is basically the same like we had in the intro. The down, the can, the down, round, the can, the down. Then what you need to decide is: Are you going to use basic bar chords, or are you going to do what John Frusciante is doing, which is more difficult Hendrix type of chords? Hendrix using the thumb. Why? Because now you can do all the extra embellishments. Lots of stuff. But this is more difficult, so I would suggest to start by just playing the regular old bar chords, like this. And once you get the hang of that, then you might want to go for Hendrix type of chord. So eventually you want to do what Frusciante is doing. We have a short instrumental section, which basically is the chorus, but without the vocals and in a more subdued tone. Nice chords. But what makes it interesting is what John Frusciante is playing over those chords. These very beautiful little embellishments. Isn't that great stuff? Here in the C sharp, he plays this beautiful little... But instead of just picking it with the fingers, he actually sort of strums. 
creates a different type of sound. And then listen to this, he plays. Jimi Hendrix, of course, did a song called Hey Joe, which was... Black <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if the Chili Peppers receive a lawsuit from whoever owns the rights to Hey Joe. Now, then, Frusciante plays something that is even more Hendrix-like. The real beautiful moment, of course, is when Frusciante starts to play that fantastic guitar solo. Okay, so we're in the key, of course, of D sharp or E flat, whatever you prefer. And basically, he plays a minor and pentatonic scale here. Quite literally so. That's a beautiful note, isn't it? Sort of reminds me of Kurt Cobain, in a sense. Uh, nasty note. And do that one a bit slower. Quite weird to have a band on the D string. Normally it's the lighter strings, the top strings, but here. A lovely raunchy note on the D string. And basically he plays the same. Same solo, but on a higher register. Here, important to do a very slow band. Don't do this. He does it very slow, so it's more raunchy. Yeah, like that. The same melody. Here, he does a note you don't expect. Huh? He goes for the major third this time. <laughs> and then, my favorite part of the solo, you don't expect this. Okay, we have one part left, which is the outro, and then we have all the stuff and all the parts that we need to play the song. And again, what I love here is the absolute simplicity that he's using here. It's just a couple of notes. It couldn't have been more simple. Fantastic. Then a slight variation. It really is the Leslie speaker that affects in full glory, isn't it? It's also great restraint in only playing three top strings. He could have done like the entire chord. But he doesn't do that, and the reason is by just playing the top strings, not doing any of the bottom strings, there's more room for the bass guitar. He doesn't get in the way of Flea, and he can do his thing complements the sound. <sighs> Beautiful, let's play that outro. <laughs> 